guys, today I'm gonna review The Love Song of Soya Bell by Evan Gale. I received an arc of this through NetGalley in exchange for an honest review and this already came out in September. The Love Song of Soya Bell is a new adult romance and it has two point of views. There is Soya who is a violinist at Juilliard and she has kind of been struggling with the pressure there and so she wants to do something different over the summer and auditions to go on tour with this rock band. And the other point of view is Vix who is the lead singer and guitarist of that band. So in this novel we follow the band on their summer tour and kind of see the relationship between Vix and Soya develop from strangers to friends to friends with benefits to lovers. That's kind of the basic premise of the book. Now I was super super excited about this book both because of the female female romance but also because of the like musician life. I have to say the book is very very short and it really only deals with the time while this band is on tour so this musician aspect is not as big of a deal in the book as you might want it to be. For me personally I wish that it had a little bit of a bigger role in the book but as I said since it only takes place over the summer there's obviously only so much you can talk about when you're on tour because you know it's kind of the same routine every time so there is not really much to talk about like musician life because it's basically just tour life but it definitely does talk about trying to become well known in this industry and especially like the sexism that you face as a woman in this industry which I found very very great. Since Vix is one of the main characters we see how she approaches songwriting and especially lyric writing so there's definitely a little bit of that aspect. On the other hand I found myself really really falling in love with Soya's storyline because as I said she auditions to go on tour with this rock band because she is struggling with the pressure in Juilliard and I really enjoyed reading about her struggle and about how she was trying to make her dream come true and then once the dream actually actually came true she realized that it's not quite what she had hoped it would be and that she should be happy because this is everything that she wanted and this is what you know everybody says is like the most amazing thing and obviously lots of people would want to be in her position but she is just not happy and she's struggling with it and then also like the struggle of dealing with yourself and being like what is happening why do I hate this have I fallen out of love with music and that was easily my favorite part of this novel now this is obviously very personal to me since I am also someone who has decided to make her passion her job while I am still like 100% sure I made the right decision. It is definitely a struggle and it's not easy and it is still a dream come true but it's just not like happy fun times all the time and you do kind of think sometimes did I do the right decision or did I give up my passion to make this my job and like with that kind of am losing all of the love I had for this. I just thought that this struggle was just so well portrayed. I thought that it was really real and so so honest but at the same time because Sawyer does kind of find her way in this book it's also very hopeful and inspiring and it shows you that even if you kind of think you maybe made the wrong decision that there's still so many more ways for you to go and that you don't have to give up on your dream because there's just so many opportunities waiting for you just not the kind of conventional way that people might tell you to go and I love that aspect so much. I thought it was so so well done and I do think that even if you can't relate to it it's definitely something that just really adds a lot to Soya's personality and really adds to her development throughout this book. But as I said it also does deal with the struggle that Vix has in this industry and how it's kind of a very sexist industry and how as a front woman you deal with a lot of shit being surrounded by men all the time. I also thought that she had some very interesting development in the story and kind of you know her struggle with her career and that it is definitely what she wants to do and what she loves but how that can sometimes kind of clash with her personal life or her romantic life and that was another aspect that I really really loved. As I said this is a new adult romance so that means if you're going into this you definitely have to expect a lot of very explicit sex scenes but I think these were some of the most well done sex scenes I have ever read in new adult or just adult in general. I think that the way that Evan Gale really tried to bring consent and communication into the sex scenes was so great. It was really about communication not only like before or after 
but during sex and like talking about oh, is this okay do you like this or you know also saying like oh I don't like this or I like this better I thought that was so well done and I've never read a novel where this was talked about as much as it was in this one this was such a fantastic aspect of the novel and I think that so many more romance novels could really really benefit from talking more about this especially with consent as well it's just not something that gets talked about enough I feel like uh yeah whole nother discussion but so well done. There is also a lot of focus on like male gaze when it comes to female female relationships on any kind of stereotypes for queer people in general but especially bisexual people. Vix identifies as bisexual and she is definitely someone who is like constantly there to shut you down if you're saying anything problematic. There's like instances where people are like screaming at Vix and Sawyer when they're making out in the street and being being like oh that's hot and Vix is immediately like we're not doing this for you asshole and it's just I love that it was so well done another aspect where I think this book is just amazing and did such good work that I just hope we see so much more of. Soya identifies as a lesbian and in this book we kind of see her journey with that. It's basically already mostly there at the beginning of the novel but only throughout the novel is she like 100% sure of it and uses it as a label and I think that her exploring that was also very well done. There's also several queer side characters and it also has an asexual character but it's really only briefly mentioned and not really any detail on it and I couldn't really uh, say if the representation was well done. While as I said everything about like this book as far as like sexuality and like stereotypes was very well done, I do think that we could have had a little bit more talk about the difference between romantic and sexual attraction. I think obviously this is a short book and there's only so much amazing woke things you can pack into a book so it's not like oh this is something that makes the book less good but I definitely think that there were a few really great chances to kind of include this difference between romantic and sexual attraction and especially in light of this ace character where I felt like it wasn't really clear and it kind of seemed like this character might be aromantic as well but he wasn't identified as aromantic. I'm not really sure how to feel about this. If you're aromantic or asexual and you have read the book and you have any thoughts on it please let me know in the comments down below or if you have written a review I would love to link it. Overall I thought this was a really really enjoyable novel that I would highly highly recommend if you're looking for a female female romance and kind of like this music aspect. It doesn't have like super fancy writing, it's very easy to get through, it's definitely added some like kind of slightly unnecessary drama but it does kind of get solved very quickly and I mean what's a good romance book without some unnecessary drama. <laughs> I definitely think it's an underrated female female romance. As I said, I've just never read a new adult romance that was kind of this woke about sexuality and just sex in general. And yeah, I just think that if you're into that, definitely pick this book up. Anyway, these were all of my thoughts on the love song of Sawyer Bell. Let me know if you want to pick this book up now or if you have already read it, what you thought of it. Do you agree or disagree with anything that I said? And if you have anything to add as far as like representation or anything goes, please leave like links or anything in the comments down below. That's always very, very helpful. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll get to see you soon. Bye!